Hi, welcome to part 13 of the video series about work and energy. In the previous lesson, we have learned about conservative and non-conservative forces. In this video, we will learn how to calculate the work done by non-conservative forces. But first, let's consider a ball above the surface which has an initial height hi, falls to point hf, final height, due to force of gravity, and covers displacement delta x during its motion. Work done by force of gravity is equal to force of gravity multiplied by displacement multiplied by the cosine theta. As we recall, force of gravity is a conservative force and the only one in this example. So, instead of using WG for work of gravity, we can use WCF for work of conservative force. Also, we can substitute FG by mass times gravitational acceleration. Directions of displacement and force are same. Therefore, the angle between these two is equal to zero. Displacement of the ball is equal to its final height minus initial height. In the formula, we can ignore cosine zero as it is equal to one. Now, let's try to calculate the change in the potential energy of the ball as final potential energy minus initial potential energy. Potential energy can be calculated as mass times gravitational acceleration times height. We can restructure the equation as both expressions contains mass and gravitational acceleration. By comparing two equations, we can say that the work done by conservative forces is equal to negative of change in the potential energy of an object. In this example, we did it just for the force of gravity, but it is true for all kind of potential energies. Let's try to consider work energy theorem now. Net work done on an object is equal to the change in the kinetic energy of the object. Network can be represented as sum of works of conservative and non-conservative forces. In the previous slide, we have seen that the work done by conservative forces is equal to the negative of change of potential energy of an object. By restructuring the equation, we can find out that the work done by non-conservative forces is equal to the sum of change in the kinetic and potential energies of the object. In questions, instead of NCF, we generally use NC as a subscript for non-conservative forces. Even though some textbooks prefer to use work energy theorem in the questions, in most cases, solving them by using the formula on the screen is much easier. Now, let's see this formula in action. A vehicle is starting from rest at point A at the bottom of rough incline and reaches point B at 25 meters per second. The total work done by force F that moves the vehicle from point A to point B is 4,80 times 10 power to 6 joules. Calculate the total work done on the vehicle by the frictional forces. Work done by non-conservative forces is equal to the change in the kinetic energy of the object plus the change in the potential energy of the object. To identify the non-conservative forces, let's draw a free body diagram. Force of gravity acts downwards. The normal force is perpendicular to the surface. Force F moves the object up the incline and the friction force acts down the incline opposite to the direction of motion. We can ignore the normal force as it is not doing any work since it is perpendicular to the direction of motion. We can ignore the force of gravity as it is a conservative force. Friction force and force which moves the car up the incline are non-conservative forces. So for the left side of the equation we can write work of friction plus work of force F. Kinetic energy is equal to 1 over 2 times mass times square of velocity. Potential energy is equal to mass times gravitational acceleration times height of the object from the reference level. Also, take note that for both energies, we subtract initial values from the final ones. The work done by force F is already given in the question. It is 4,8 times 10 power to 6. Mass of the object is 1,500 kgs. Its final velocity is 25 meters per second. 
initial kinetic energy is equal to zero as object starts motion from rest, or in other words, from zero velocity. Gravitation acceleration is 9.8 meters per second square, and point B is 200 meters high. Initial potential energy is zero as object starts from the ground level with the height equal to zero. Work done by friction force is equal to minus 1,39 times 10 power to 6 joules. In this video, we learned how to calculate the work done by non-conservative forces. In the next video, we are going to learn about power. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications in order to be updated about the new videos.